Were you expecting some kind of opening gag here? Well, prepare to be surprised, because I couldn't really think of one. Today, we're talking about surprising characters. That's characters who are themselves surprising, not like how to surprise a character. One of the most important elements of complex, well-developed characters is that they have the capacity to surprise the reader. This is not to say that these characters act erratically or unpredictably, but rather that the depth and scope of their development makes their actions more difficult to predict. These characters deal with conflict in interesting ways because their own internal value system and motivations are not one-dimensional. Their own personal sense of morality and the ramification of their overlapping motivations means that the solutions to conflict are often surprising. Now, crafting a character like this can get tricky. Not only do you have to build the web of motivations, backstory, and personality that enable this character to act in a surprising way, but you have to share these details with the reader and present an interesting way for these elements of the character to be explored in the story. I want to emphasize here that this is about more than just hiding things about the character from the reader. That's not really what I mean when I talk about a surprising character. What I'm talking about are characters that the reader gets to know on a deep level while still being surprised when all the things the reader knows about them suddenly intersect. So let's talk about some of the elements needed to make a character surprising. First off, surprising characters often have a conflict between their motivations and their goals. I've covered motivations and goals in earlier videos, like really early videos. But as a quick recap, a goal is a concrete objective that the character wants to achieve, whereas motivations are the underlying reasons that a character wants to pursue that goal in the first place. While goals, if they're written well, will generally derive from motivations, that doesn't necessarily mean that the two aren't in conflict in some way. Surprising characters often have underlying motivations that hamper their ability to achieve their goals. For example, a detective character might have a goal of taking down an evil mob boss, but their underlying motivation to uphold law and justice means that they can't just whack the guy. This is a situation where the goal derives from the motivation, but the nature of the motivation also makes the most direct way to achieve that goal impossible for the character. In these types of scenarios, the character may need to make a choice between living up to their ideals or achieving their goal. The exact nuance of the individual character will determine what choices they make here, and that's where the surprising behavior can arise. This conflict between motivations and goals usually manifests as an internal conflict for the character. So let's talk about internal conflicts while I deal with an external conflict, which is a cat standing in front of my notes. Internal conflicts are a great way to add complexity to a character. These kinds of long-running struggles that a character goes through often results in them having a unique perspective that may not be immediately clear to the reader. Internal conflicts can shift around the desires of a character, potentially giving them secondary goals that are contradictory with their primary goals, and also gives them a way to question their motivations and their own self-worth. These types of conflicts are a common theme with anti-hero or morally gray characters. These characters often derive their less than black and white morality from an internal struggle that exists deep within them. Internal conflict is the best way to add complexity to the moral judgments a character makes, which will lend some unpredictability in a very explainable way which is exactly what we want in order for the character to be surprising. And the most common place for internal conflicts to arise from is from character backstories. Backstories are another crucial element in creating the level of character complexity that's necessary to surprise the reader. Someone's backstory affects nearly every element of how they behave. And a backstory doesn't need to involve every single day of a character's life. Even just a few defining moments can be enough to shape that character into someone interesting. 
A trauma-laced backstory can affect what actions a character takes. It will impact their own moral judgments and affect how they perceive and interact with those around them. When faced with similar circumstances or events that mirror traumatic events in their backstory, a complex character can behave in surprising ways. For example, the most obvious course of action might lead them to repeat a mistake from their past. This could be something that forces them into a less obvious but more surprising response. In effect, the backstory of the character gives them a level of knowledge about a situation that the reader may not realize they have, or that the reader may not possess themselves. The surprise arises when the reader learns about this from the character. You'll notice that most of what I've talked about today are all things that go into making a complex character. And you'd be correct. It is very hard to intentionally craft a character who behaves in surprising ways. It's a much more organic process that involves weaving together enough complexity that such behavior can happen. If you want to craft surprising characters, which are often the most compelling and interesting characters to read about, then you need to make sure that those characters are complex. And you can't do that without the elements that we've talked about today, which is kind of the whole point of what we're doing here. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found the advice in it useful. If you wanna see more stuff like this, you can check out all my other writing advice related videos and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Wednesday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.